I'm Grace. Hi, Grace. Um, I'm 15, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. So tell us about your journey. How did you get here to us? Um, my grandma is Aretha Franklin. Well, hey, <laughs> stop right there. That's your grandma. There is no one. to my grandma. I got to see her all the time. I used to travel with her a lot. No one knows this about your grandma, but I'm going to tell you, when you walk in the house, you think, oh, we're going to talk music, we're going to talk about the arrangement. And she go, Lionel, I got some collard greens I've made. <laughs> I don't think I could fully grasp the fact that she was known worldwide, because to me, she was always just grandma. I feel like people expect me to sing like exactly like her. Oh my but I am my own artist, and I have my own voice. Oh my God, you are from a blessed family. Thank you. I have many messages on my answering machine that I kept. Yeah, that's just, that's, anyway, <laughs> I could talk about that forever, but. Is it true she kept a little pistol in her purse? No. <laughs> <laughs> she did keep her purse by her all the time. All the time. She's on her way to stage, and she carries her purse on the side really? of the stage. Oh, no, no. What's in the purse? The money. <laughs> the money? The money. <laughs> Even better. I love it. <laughs> yeah. wow. She picked up the money. So tell us what you're going to do for us. Um, I have Ain't No Way. Feels appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> your rendition of your grandma's song. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you now as Uncle Richie and your grandmother talking to me. Her line was, if you're not ready for me, baby, don't come near me. Now, you're 15. You've got the family lineage, okay? What we need to put now is time and some work in to get it up to par, okay? Grace Franklin, I love you. And I think the best thing for you in life is to take a shot at going backwards. Go back and get a running start and come at this again. Are you putting pressure on me? Listen, she's got stardust. Give her a shot, give her a chance. I'm sure Aretha wasn't Aretha when she walked into the room, but somebody said, yes, I want to work with you. I want to develop you. You got something. <laughs> She's got stardust on her. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. If you go and come back and put the shyness behind you and the voice in front of you, you are going to be something amazing. And I don't want to be the one to make you tip over and fall at this infant state. She's not. She might be a little shy. I will lay down on the ground. I quit this show. I'm going to the bar. Oh, God. Oh, God. Something wrong with your ears. Katie. Y'all are insane. You know, you know, you have, you have to understand. I'm glad I went first. I know you were very lucky. I did not see this coming. I saw this one. Grace, you know how I feel about your family and you, but I don't want this to be a crash and burn. 
Okay, it's gonna be a no for me this time, but an optimistic come back and see us, okay? But right, can I give you a hug? Because I have to do this. Oh, I love you so much. But make that work, okay? Just put the work in. A hardworking contestant. I am a mom first and waitress on and off for like six years, probably, and, uh, and a musician. I've been singing for as long as I can remember. I was always in the school plays. I'm a huge ham. I always like to be on stage. <laughs> well, my dad is Jim Carrey. <laughs> like something that was killed crossing the highway. I don't know whether to comb it or scrape it off with a shovel and bury it in the line. It was definitely fun growing up with him as a father. I mean, he's not the most extravagant celebrity, so it's been fairly normal. <laughs> fairly. Everyone growing up has kind of their issue with identity and trying to find themselves. It is difficult kind of growing up in the shadow of something and trying to find your place in the world underneath this huge shadow. Father's bigger to your daughters. The last name definitely helps and hurts. I, I feel like there's kind of like this pressure to maybe be better because if I make it somewhere, I run the risk of people saying, oh, you only got there because of this. Sometimes that actually makes me worse because I'm too nervous to be good. <laughs> I think that's also why I'm here too, just to um, make, uh, I don't know, make my place in the world. <laughs> does father know you're here? Father does know I'm here. <laughs> Who's father? My dad's Jim Carrey. Oh! The great I Jim Carrey. Jim. I remember you when you were in middle. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember me? I was one of the fly girls. I think I was like two. You were so little, you were a baby, <laughs> oh my god. Jennifer Yo. When did this happen? No. Yo, come on, man. Oh, my God, this is crazy. Okay, what are you going to sing, baby? Uh, how about something to talk about? Yeah. Uh, I like that song. Okay. People are talking, talking about people. I hear them whisper. You won't believe it. They think we're lovers. Maybe they see it. Something we don't, darling. Let's give them something to talk about. No, I like you. I like the voice. I like the potential. I like the two. I like the sound of your voice. I think you're good. I think you need to think more about performing. You close your eyes a lot, you mm -hmm. know, and, and that's all good for the feeling of it, but you still got to connect with your audience. And you yeah. got you to gotta make us feel something when you're singing. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not just about having a pretty voice, which you do have. Yeah, you got good melody, but you got to work on the volume. Like, you, you know? Okay. Yeah. Let's think about Steven Yes or No. Oh, please. Yes. I want to see more, yes. Yes! Hollywood! Hollywood! Jane's in Hollywood. Jane ain't going to Hollywood. Yeah. Tell Father we say what's up, man. Good. Tell him holla at the dog. <laughs> she did a great job, man. Oh, she's so wonderful. She's amazing to me. So I can't wait for the world to understand what she has in oh. her. She's on her way. Surreal. Everyone's in tears here, so it's a good moment. I'm Claudia Conway. I'm 16. Um, my parents are high-profile political figures. My mother is Kellyanne Conway. She worked for Donald Trump. And my dad is George Conway. He's a lawyer. He worked against Donald Trump. He's here with me, though. Wow. wow. She's Trump's loyal advisor, the woman who carried him over the finish line to the White House. He is one of the president's most notable conservative critics. You're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. I had bought an apartment at the Trump World Tower that uh, has 90 floors, but because it's Trump, it's really only 72. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, but you know, I only want to spread love and I love a compromise and I do agree to disagree with my mom and my dad. Hey guys, so you probably know me as 15 year old emancipation girl or that blonde woman from Fox News's daughter. I'm a little more than that, come.
I had to move to Washington, D.C. when I was 12, and I hated it. When your mom's working for the President of the United States, who you very much disagree with, it's really hard. And I love you back. Most of my life, my feelings had been suppressed. Yeah. So then I got social media, and I was like, well, damn. Now my voice is being heard, you know? I believe that age actually has nothing to do with the willingness to learn and educate yourself. Okay, guys, I'm actually getting off the app now. I love you all. Stay safe and take care of your well-being. The internet can be a very, very dark place, but when life is all going downhill, I have my music. Now, I kind of want to get out of the controversy, get out of the drama, get out of the political whatever, and let people know that, you know, I am a singer and that this is what I want to do. You're going to do great. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. She loves music. And um, I'm really thrilled that she's here because, you know, maybe this gives her an opportunity to pursue it at another level. So it makes me happy to see her here doing this one way or the other. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move Yes And everybody here is watching you Cause you feel like home You're like a dream come true You know, I, I couldn't imagine anything that would make her happier and to do this, so, you know, gets to you. <laughs> There's a lot of noise in your life. You have to calm the storm that is around you. Meaning, before you sing, you need to get off your phone. You need to stop reading your comments. Yeah. Push it aside. Because if not, you may not ever rise above your dad or your mom. It's your choice. I think you're a little ways away on the singing aspect, um, but uh, for right now, I'm a no. I could get behind you. I'm a yes. Thank you. I think what you're doing right now is stepping forward and announcing who you are. Mm. Uh, you chose music. I'm going to give you a shot at music. It's a yes for me. Thank you. OK. Well. Now, here comes Dad. <laughs> I want you to know that your daughter, I give her giant props. I do, too. Claudia, not going to DC, honey. You're going <laughs> straight to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, boy, I hope and pray each day I live a little more love. I have to give. Should we vote all together? Yes. One, two, three. Yes. yes! That's the way to start. That's the way to start San Francisco show right there. This group gets a second chance in Hollywood. What? That's all the time they gave her on the show. That's crazy. It's like they don't even realize that she's the daughter of one of the Doobie brothers. 
Wow, it's been a long time coming, but we are so grateful and excited to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Something 15-year-old Shannon McGrain knows all about. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? My name's Shannon. I'm Shannon McGrain. How old are you? I'm 15 years old. You're 15? You're 15? Yes. Now opposite. Six yeah. foot tall, size 11 shoe. Wow. <laughs> okay, tell us about yourself a little bit. Well, actually, I am a volleyball player. I, um, that makes middle sense. hitter. How'd you get into sports? I mean, is your family into sports? Yes, my dad is actually, he was a pitcher in um, the World Series 1987. Wow. What? Uh, What's yes. his name? Joe McGrain. Wow, get down, dude. For what team? <laughs> Um, Cardinals. He's, he's St. Louis ball. Cardinals. Nice. When Joe McGrain started the season, he's in the minor leagues. He's in Louisville on opening day. And here he is on closing day pitching for the world championship. We're going to have to meet them in a minute. Yeah, man. Yes. Can I bring them in to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We'll them, you know. Oh, my God. Can it really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So good. <laughs> right. Sister? Right. This is my sister. Sister. This is my family. Yeah. Sister. Yeah. Mommy, my mama. Mom, hi. This, is my mommy. <laughs> this looks like my family. Hi. All girls hi. and the dad. Hi. Hi. One guy. Dude. Hi. Dude, Woo. World Woo. Series. Hi. World hi. Series. Hi. World hi. Series. Hi. No, still the World hi. Series hi. at all. Hi. And left handed. Nice to, that's right. Yeah. yeah. How's, how's things in Beantown? Oh, great. Beautiful. You know? Hot, humid, and happening. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Just like your nice daughter. What a beautiful family. All right, what are you going to sing? All right, I have Some Things Out of Hold On Me by Etta James. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sing, right. <clears throat> oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no. And I just got to tell you right now that I... I believe, I really do believe that something's got a hold on me, yeah, yeah. Oh, something's got a hold on me right now, child. Let me tell you now, I never thought this could happen to me. My heart was heavy when in misery. I never thought it could be this way. Love sure gonna put a hurt in all right, all right, all right. We were like vibing and rolling with that one. Uh, so, Mom, you were singing every word. Are you a singer? I'm not, because I hear it, and I have to turn it down off. It's ricochets throughout the house. Dude. That you are cool with your family, no nerves, and you are ready to go. Nerves of seal yeah. at 15 with your mom and dad and all your friends. That is hot. That's yeah. crazy right there. Nerves of steel, this girl. Yeah. To not care enough mm -hmm. where your voice has to come out, that's the secret. Yeah. And that's what you did. Shall we vote? I say yes. Mm, I say yes, too. I say yes, too. Ah! Yes, you're going to Hollywood! You're going to Hollywood! <laughs> Dad, you got to come and help out the Dodgers, dude. Can't happen soon enough. <laughs> right. <laughs>